Hey everyone, in the previous video we looked at uh, when we should create measures in Power BI and how to create measures using DAX formulas. Uh, we also created a year-to-date uh, formula using DAX in the previous video. You can look at the previous video in the video notes and it will take you to uh, that video and we'll build on that video in, uh, in this, this uh, video and what we will do is we will try to create the last year YTD so we let's say we've got YTD values for this year and so on and so forth so if, what if we want to compare it against how we were trending for last year so uh, what I'm gonna do is um, I've got so you can see I've got this uh, sales YTD and uh, so what we could do is let's just use a matrix And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the date dimension and I'm going to put the uh, and let's just put English month name on rows. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, close these and I'm going to put the sales amount. So let's put sales by TD and I'm going to also put the sales amount and let's put it in so focus mode so you can see. So for 2011 uh, 2010 you can see uh, you know the sales by TD and sales amount are the same but in 2011 you can see that the sales amount is getting added as we go along. So what if we want to uh, see let's say in 2012 what was the sales by TD for previous year, year 2011. And we're going to build a formula for that. So I'll again uh, go and select this table and select say new measure. And uh, we will say last year. And we will use the calculate function. Calculate function is like the one ring to rule them all. So this is one function you will use a lot of and um, so let me just select this and it, you give your expression which could be another previous DAX formula you had created and then you can filter that on different things so I could say sales YTD and then I'll say filter it so give me last uh, same period last year and um, so I'll say full date alternate key and I'll just close this and now if I pull this in the values tab, let's see what happens. So you can see uh, last year because in two, there is no data for 2009, all of this is blank. But uh, in 2011, you can see it is equal to last year's, which is 2010's YTD value. And let's just scroll forward. So let's look at 2012. So in 2012, last year sales YTD is 469,000. And so you can see, and then what we could essentially do is we could just compare sales YTD for last year uh, with the sales YTD for this year. Um, so, and then we could, we could compare how we are trending um, or uh, what is the percentage increase in uh, a certain value compared to last year. So uh, yeah, in this video, we learned how to calculate uh, last year's year to date using the calculate function and uh, I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing and do like my video uh, give me a yell I would probably enjoy that uh, thanks again for your time and uh, for watching the video cheers